Okay, getting my screen settled here, getting it all, getting it perfect. <laughs> okay. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! All right, all right. Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. Lolly says yes. Thank you so much, Lolly. Thank you so much. Rita, hello, Rita. Sewu, hello. Sewu, of course, Lolly. Hello. <clears throat> Tomas, hello. Marion, hello. Yes, the green team is here. The green team is here. Yes, I'm happy to see the green team. I'm also happy to see Helga, Hala, Alice, Samuel, Alexander, Radu, yes, Dragon, Wolf. All right. And Line Soy is here. Ali, <clears throat> um, I see a hello, hello, Air Lady, hello, hello. Okay, Alex, hello. Esther, how you doing, Esther? Good to see Esther. All right, and Servi, hello. All right, well, I'm really happy that you're here. I'm happy that you are um, going to be here with me for two hours. Yes, I'm happy that you will be here with me for two hours. Yes, so I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are happy and um, Welcome, welcome. Jose, welcome. Good, good. Sylvie, hello. All right. Alexander, Nicole, yay. Deck, Rose, okay. Great, great, great. Ava, how you doing, Ava? Peter, all right, Peter. Yay, yay, yay. Marion, hello, hello. Umesh, hello. Okay. We have a good group of people. We always have a good, good group of people here. Yes, we do. Um, Hey, Marcos. Marcos is here. Great. Well, we, what we always do, we always have a toast for good luck. Yeah, so let's, we always start our lesson with a toast for good luck. I'm happy to see you too, Air Lady. Thank you, thank you. So let's have our toast for good luck. Please um, pick up a beverage, whatever you're drinking. Hana, hello, Hana. I, of course, drink coffee and hot. So I drink hot coffee in the summer. I drink hot coffee in the winter. I drink hot coffee in the spring and I drink hot coffee in the fall. <laughs> okay, so let's have a toast for good luck. And our first toast is, of course, to the green team. Yes, the green team. They support me, they support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give a big, big thank you to the green team. Yes, cheers, green team, cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Yes, Carlos. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, we do. Bottoms up. Mm. All right, now our second toast is for you. Yes, for you. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. No, no, no. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, productive, and informative lesson. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Ah. Hey, Mary. Hello, Mary is in the house. Good to see Mary. Okay, good, good, good. I believe you should have removed the dash within cookout. Why is that? Radu, tell me why, please. Okay, now, um, about our schedule, about our schedule. Okay, let's do, let's talk about today's lesson plan. Okay, so um, what is it? We're going to do that, that's our first activity. And what is it is a review activity, right? So we did that on Tuesday. I'm going to, on Tuesday, I showed you a picture and you told me what it was. Today, I will 
give you clues. And from the clues, please tell me what it is, right? So we're going to do what is it? Then we will do uh, which one doesn't belong. I will give you four items and you tell me which one of the four doesn't belong with the other three. So one doesn't go with the three. Which one doesn't belong? Then we will do a quiz and extension questions from my book, 50 Very Short Conversations, okay? Then we will do a conversation from the book. And then we will do our members only dictation cards, okay? So are you ready? I'm ready. I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are good. I hope you are ready to be here with me for two hours. We're going to be here for two hours, so let's do it, shall we? Okay, okay. Okay, Radu, I'll talk to you about it later. I'll talk to you about it later. Okay, um, let's do what is it, what is it. Here we go. What is it? What is it? And then the answer. It's a... Uh, okay. Or... If it's a proper noun, we just say it's, right? If it's a common noun, we use a ah. If it's a proper noun, we don't use a ah. We just go it's. And I think there, and, and we don't, if, the, if it's um, plural, right? We don't use a ah, okay? So for ah is for common nouns and for singular, singular common nouns, okay? It can be used with um, without a ah, that would be for proper nouns and for plural nouns. Okay, so are you ready? Let's go. Oh, oh, there are four cards. There are four cards. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And I need four magnets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so um, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Card number one. And the hints are, okay, so the clues are for card number one. It's, it's a thing that shoots water for us to drink. When we're thirsty, um, we go to one of these places, or we go to this thing. Usually, you can see them in a park. You can see them in a school. You can see them in a public area, like, for example, a shopping mall, or even like a supermarket will have them sometimes. Um, and when you're thirsty, you want one of these. <laughs> if you're thirsty and you're outside in a park, maybe you're looking for one, right? Where is that? And maybe <clears throat> if you don't know, you ask somebody, excuse me, do you know where a uh, mm is? Excuse me, do you know where a uh, mm is? And I'm looking here at Lolly. <clears throat> Radu, Ray Ray, Ava, Tomas, Marion. Okay, yep, good job, Samuel. It's a drinking fountain. Very good, very good. Yes, yes, yes. It's a drinking fountain. Very good. Okay, let's do card number two. Let's go with card number two. Here we go. Number two. Um, this is out in space, and this is where astronauts live. This is where astronauts do experiments. This is where astronauts um, share this. It's a station, and they share this space. So there'll be American astronauts there. There will be... Chinese astronauts there, there will be Russian astronauts there, 
There will be Japanese astronauts there. Um, this is where astronauts live and do experiments in space. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, okay, you got it. All right, all right. It is a space station. Okay, good. It's a space station. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Number three. Number three. And the clues are... The, these, there are two. Um, there's a large one and a small one. They are in our body. They digest our food. The purpose of them is to digest our food. They also, um, I think they regulate our water, right? And so, um, it, like when you drink water, these control like where the water goes. And um, I'm not sure exactly, but I know they digest the food. They digest your food. When you, when you eat, it goes down and it digests your food. And then it distributes the, the energy into the parts of your body that needs energy, right? The, all the nutrients that um, is in our food, these digest it and send it to the places in our body that we need it most. Yeah, Marion. Good, 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 good. Samuel. Good. Ava. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. Yep. The intestines. Yeah, so there's a, the large intestines and the small intestines. Okay, good, good, good. The intestines. Okay. And number four. Here we go. Big and small. Yes, Ava. Okay. This is our body, but only bones. So this is our body, but only bones. No flesh, no blood. This particular picture is of a human, okay? Of course, animals have bones, right? And so they have all the bones together make the... Mm, <laughs> so the structure, right? So we have bones everywhere, right? And it and it's our shape, our our structure of who we are. It keeps us standing. It helps us, you know, move and live. <laughs> okay, good. Yep. It's a skeleton. Okay, good, good, good. It's a skeleton. All right. So these were from Tuesday. This review from Tuesday, right? So let's do it again. Let's go over the pronunciation again. What is it? It's a drinking fountain. What is it? It's a space station. What is it? It's intestines. It's intestines. What is it? It's a skeleton. It's a Skeleton. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Well done, everyone. Now, let's go to our second activity. Our second activity is which one doesn't belong? Which one doesn't belong? Okay, so I'm going to tell you four things and of the four things, which of the four doesn't belong and why? Which of the four doesn't belong and why? Hey, Dr. Ramirez is in the house. How you doing? Hello, hello. Vilmar, hello. How you doing? Vilmar's here. Good to see Vilmar. School of fish. We are just a school of fish. Vilmar thinks we are just a school of fish. Swimming in life. <laughs> we are just a school of fish swimming in life. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Okay, let's do it. Which one doesn't belong? Let me get my paper straightened up here because 
I've got a number of papers, so I want to get them straightened. Okay, here we go. Our first, so maybe some people, we, we did this, we, um, this is, this is, um, we've been doing this for a while, but I stopped because um, I kind of ran out of ideas, but then I thought, okay, I should start back doing this again. So anyway, so if you're not familiar with this, if you don't, if this is the first time you've done this activity, which one doesn't belong? What we're going to do is I'm going to tell you four things. Three are going to go together. One is not. So for example, if I say, if I say apple, hat, banana, strawberry, apple, hat, banana, strawberry, which one doesn't go? Which one doesn't belong? Of course, it's hat because hat is clothing where bananas or apple banana strawberry they're fruit right and a hat is part of clothing okay or things we put on our body right a hat we put on our head so that doesn't go with the fruit okay so that's what we're doing did, did someone say hello mrs g oh there's mrs g how you doing She's making dinner, but listening. Okay, are you making a... <laughs> okay, I'm not... Okay, let's go ahead. I was going to say... I'm... Okay, let's do it, yeah? Okay, here's the first set of four things. Please tell me which one doesn't belong and why. That's the most important thing. Why? You tell me the reason you think that doesn't belong. Here we go. Here are the four things. A thumbprint, a police officer, jail, an alarm. Here we go, one more time. A thumbprint, a police officer, jail, an alarm. Which one doesn't go together and why? Which one doesn't go together and why? A thumbprint, a police officer, jail, an alarm, an alarm. Lulu, hey buddy, how, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm finally to listen. Unchain my heart. <laughs> okay, Radu says, a police officer because we are talking about a human being. Well, okay, okay, yeah, there's really no wrong answer. There's no wrong answer, so that's fine. That's good. Let me cover up. I'm going to show you the pictures, what I'm talking about. But I need to cover the ones below so you don't see the others. So, okay, so here we go. Um, there are four things. A thumbprint, a police officer, jail, an alarm. Okay, so which one doesn't belong and why? A thumbprint, a police officer, jail, an alarm. Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, Ava says a police officer is a human. Okay, uh, Shihan, why, why jail? So I, I need to know. I want to know the reason. That's the, that's the the um, main purpose of this activity. Okay, Helga, a police officer because it is a person. Okay, Radu says an alarm because it can be programmed to be triggered in certain situations. Yes, like. You have an alarm if you, someone opens the door that will set the alarm off, for example. Or the alarm might be connected to a window. So if the window is broken, the alarm will go off or be triggered. Lolly, 
alarm because it is not for people that commit a crime. Be alarm because it's for people that commit a crime. So it's for people. Samuel, alarm. It, alarm doesn't belong because we use that whenever we want to wake up. Okay, not an alarm clock, Samuel. So you're, you're talking about an alarm clock. This is just a sound. Like, look at Radu. So Radu said, an alarm because it's programmed to trigger a sound, right? So the alarm will be, like, connected to a door. So if the wind or if the door opens, it will trigger the alarm. Or um, it could be connected to a window. If the window is open or broken, the alarm will sound off. Tomas, alarm because it does not have contact with criminal. Does not have contact with criminal. Oh, okay, like contact mean like physical contact? Okay, so maybe, um, maybe Tomas is thinking, like when he says contact, like physical contact, right? So, so a thief will, um, maybe a police officer will touch a, a, a thief, right? Or, you know, in jail, the jail will actually hold the thief. Uh, everyone has a thumbprint. So if you get arrested, you have to use your thumbprint. Let's see, Lolly says an alarm because there is no I in it. Let's check it out. Thumbprint has an I. Police officer has an I. Jail has an I. But alarm has no I. Very good, Lolly. Ava, alarm because it uses electricity. Oh, very good. Nice one, Ava. Yeah, so electricity is necessary for the alarm. Very good, very good. Hello, Flavia. How you doing? Wendy, hello. Alice, jail. It doesn't belong because it is a criminal. Jail. Well, jails are used to keep criminals there, you know, like away from people, right? So a jail keeps criminals in a, a space, right? It keeps people in that space where a criminal can't go to your house. A criminal can't, you know, hurt you, right? Because the criminal is in a jail. It, it is, it is um, keeping that person inside in that space. Let's see, Samuel, alarm, because it is used for warning. Yes, yes, yes. Mary, alarm, because it is used for different purpose. What's the purpose, Mary? Radu says, jail, because it limits the freedom of people that commit crimes. Yes. Wendy, can you say to us how to learn English without frustration? <laughs> no. <laughs> Any, Wendy, anything difficult is frustrating, right? So frustration and learning go hand in hand. So, Wendy, you can't have learning without frustration. That doesn't work. Nothing... Learning anything, getting better in anything, it's always going to be frustrating, right? So that's just, Wendy, that's just part of the process of learning. So the frustration is going to help you learn, right? That's going to like, frustration is going to make you um, like improve, right? It's going to, it, it's just part of life, Wendy. There's no, there's no, <laughs> it can't be done. Sorry. Lolly, uh, thumbprint, because you need paper to do it. Oh, very good, Lolly says. So a thumbprint, right? So they put ink on your thumb, and then you put your thumb on paper, right? And so then that paper shows your thumbprint. So, um, yep, so you need paper. Okay, I don't see my answer. I don't see my answer. Radu says, thumbprint because it can be used to pay with Apple Pay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so 
Thumbprint has many applications, right? So actually, I use it on my computer, but I use my index finger. So yeah, so I open my computer with my um, fingerprint, not thumbprint, fingerprint. Okay, Lolly says, jail because it's the final destination for a criminal. Very good. Thank you, Ava. So yeah, everyone, if you have any advice for Wendy, please um, give her your advice. Oh, Rita, nice one. Rita says thumbprint because it belongs to you. That's right. So your thumbprint is yours. It is, it is um, unique, right? No one has a th thumbprint like yours. So that's very good, Rita. A thumbprint because it belongs to you. Yeah, it's only, it, it's your special print that you only have. No one else has a print like yours. Mary says, the alarm is versatile. Can use in school, work, office, etc. Yes. So there's alarms in school, right? Like um, when class finishes, when class starts, right? There's alarm. Maybe at work, there's an alarm. You know, when to start work, when to finish work. So yeah, very good, very good. I like it, Mary. Okay, good morning, Gaz. Um, Gain san. Good morning. Lolly. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the extra support. Lolly's always supporting, and there is extra support. Thank you so much, Lolly. Lolly. Thank you. Kisses to Lolly. Mwah. I appreciate your kind support. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I I don't see my my answer. So this is my answer. So the four things again, let's review the four things. A thumbprint, a police officer, jail, and an alarm. And let me show you the pictures once again. Let me show you the pictures once again. Okay, so thumbprint, police officer, jail, and alarm. Now, my answer is alarm because the alarm happens first, right? So the, the thief or criminal breaks into the bank, for example. The alarm happens first. Then after, then if the, if the criminal gets caught, the police officer takes the criminal, makes the criminal do a thumbprint, and puts the criminal in jail. So my answer is alarm because that happens first. A thumbprint, a police officer, and jail happens after the alarm. Okay, so that's there's lots of answers, lots of different answers for sure. Okay, let's do one more set, okay? Here we go. Here are the four things. Here we go. This is set number two. Here we go. Darts, baseball, skiing, a bicycle. One more time. Ava, wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Ava. Wow. Nice, nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate Again, the green team getting extra support from the green team. Lolly's part of the green team. Ava is part of the green team, and they're giving me extra support. Mwah. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much for the extra support. I really appreciate it. You guys give me support every day, and now you're giving me extra support. Mwah. Thank you so much. Okay, one more time for the three things. <laughs> Here we go. Darts, baseball, skiing, a bicycle. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? <laughs> Tomas. Um, yes. Very generous. Both Lolly and Ava are always very generous. 
Okay, Helga says scheme because it is not a game. Okay, what about a bicycle? What a Helga, what about a bicycle? So, thank you, Ava. Mwah, love you. One more time. Darts, baseball, skiing, a bicycle. Which one doesn't belong and why? Radu, bicycle because it is not in activity. Really? Bicycle. Oh, oh, okay. Cy okay, I see what you're saying. Cycling is an activity, but not a bicycle. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to show everyone the four things. Okay, so we have, okay, here we go. We have darts, baseball, skiing, a bicycle. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one? Yeah, say we I'll show you again. Okay, so we have darts, baseball. So like the, the game baseball. So we have a baseball and, and bats. So let's say the game baseball. Skiing and a bicycle. So of those four, which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, Air Lady says, bicycle, why, why, Air Lady? So please explain. So that's, that's what I want you to um, practice your English, explaining to me why. Tell, explain me, explain your answer to me. Explain your answer to me in English. So that's. That's what you're doing. That's what you're practicing. You're practicing your, your ideas, using your ideas in English. Rahadu says baseball because it involves throwing a ball. Yeah, darts, you're, you're throwing a dart. You're not throwing a ball. Skiing, there's no throwing. And a bicycle, there's no throwing. So that, yeah, that's good. Tomas says darts because we use it indoors. Very good, yes. Darts are used indoors. Baseball is used outdoors. Skiing is outdoors. And a bicycle is outdoors. Yes, yes, yes. Samuel, skiing because we can do it just in winter. Very good. So skiing is a winter sport. Yes, yes, yes. You need snow, right? No snow, no skiing. No snow, no skiing. <laughs> uh, Lulu, bicycle, we... Um, you use for rides, but others play. Yeah, yeah. So we, we ride a bicycle, we play darts, we play baseball. and we, we, we don't say play ski, but when you're skiing, you're playing, right? You're having fun, but we don't say play ski. We say, we say play darts, play baseball. And ski, we say just skiing. Oh, I'm going to go skiing. Oh, I want to learn how to ski. So we don't, we don't say play. We'd say, oh, I want to learn to play darts. I want to learn to play baseball. I want to learn to ski. Vilmar, a bicycle is for riding. Okay, okay, Vilmar, we say a bicycle has wheels, right? Darts do not have wheels, baseball does not have wheels, and skiing does not have wheels, but a, a bicycle does have wheels. Dr. Maris, darts because you play inside. Yeah, very good. Radu, baseball because it's the, it is only played in North America. Uh, I think, uh, no, Radu, because it, it started in North America, but... Because, you know, it's an Olympic sport. It used to be. I don't know if it still is. But countries from all over the world play baseball now. Originally, it was a North American uh, sport. But now it's a global sport. Ah, Ava. Bicycle is made from metal. Rita, bicycle because you use your hands and feet. Oh, very good. Yeah, so your hands, right? Your hands 
steer the bicycle, right? If you want to go left, you have to steer left. If you want to go right, you have to steer right. And then you use your feet to, to um, power the bicycle, right? So you have to use your feet to power the bicycle and you need your hands to turn the bicycle. But skiing, you're just, you're sliding on the snow, baseball. You're using your hands, of course, but your feet aren't, your feet are just for running, right? So you need your feet to run, but it doesn't power anything, right? Where a bicycle, your feet power the bicycle. That's how you move. Or that's how the, how the bicycle moves. Say with baseball, because you need nine pe you need nine members. Oh, so Sewu knows baseball. That's right. So South Korea, they're into baseball. South Korea enjoys baseball. Japan enjoys baseball. So let's see. Sewu says there are nine players. Let's check it out. Okay. Catcher. So I'm going to say the positions of baseball. You have the catcher. You have the pitcher. You have first base, second base, shortstop, third base right field, center field, left field. That, that's nine. Say woo, you know, you know baseball, that's nine players. So there are nine players, yes. Okay, nine players on each side, very good. Dr. Maris says ski because for practice you have to wear special clothing. Yeah, okay, yes, yes, yes. Well, baseball, you need special clothing too, right? Because it's a, um, it's a team sport, so they're, they're, you need like special shoes, and then there's a uniform. People wear a cap. When you're batting, you wear a helmet. Yeah, air lady, I know. I just like, I, I, oh, okay, I see now. Okay, air lady. The air lady says, um, bicycle doesn't belong because um, you take a ride for exercise. So, okay, yeah, yeah. So, okay, good one. So air lady says, bicycle's purpose is for exercise. So that's very good. Dart's purpose is for um, a, a game, right? So darts, the purpose is for a game. Baseball purpose is for the game. Uh, skiing purpose would be, you know, for fun or there's competition, right? There's giant slalom, there's the uh, slalom, there's the downhill, ski jumping. So there, there are events, right? There are skiing events. But for most people, bicycling is used for exercise and transportation. So very good. Yes, Air Lady, good. Okay, Ray Ray says, oh, ski because I like it very much. So Ava likes skiing very much. I do too. I don't get much chance. I don't, I haven't skied for a long time, but I, I can ski. I used to ski a lot when I was younger. Actually, I lived at a ski resort. I had a job for two years at a ski resort. So I skied every day. I worked and skied. That's all I did for two years. Work and ski, work and ski. Okay, let's see. Raphael, baseball is the only one you play with a ball. Very good. Yeah, darts are mostly fun. Yeah, or like, you know, people play the game, right? So there's, so I think you, you Tomas, you play darts like there's a game, right? Like cards. So, you know, there, there are dark games, and I think that's what, you know, when people play darts, they're playing a game. Lolly, darts because you don't need to be sporty to practice it. Yeah, not, you just stand and shoot. <laughs> that's, you have to have good eyes and good, you need good hand-eye coordination, right? You, have, you look at the target and throw the dart to the target. Okay, Maha says detour because... We only use hands. Okay, I'm not sure. Bicycle, because you can 
use it to cycle on Tour de France. All right, Air, you're welcome, Air Lady. Read a bicycle, you can get a ride, yes. <laughs> Please give me a ride on your bicycle. Please give me a ride on your bicycle. Okay, good, everyone. All right, my answer is, my answer is a bicycle <clears throat> because um, most people have one. A bicycle because most people do it or most people have one. Where maybe darts, maybe not so many people have darts in their house. And maybe not so many people play baseball and maybe not so many people ski. But many people ride a bicycle or they have a bicycle. They can ride a bicycle. So most people can ride a bicycle. Most people have a bicycle. But maybe many people can't ski or don't ski. Or maybe many people can't play baseball or don't play baseball. Maybe many people um, can't play darts or don't play darts. So that's my answer. Okay, good job everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm looking at the clock. Let's change activity, shall we? And oh, I have to get a pencil because I want to mark that we did these two because I don't want to forget. So today is June 11th. So I'm going to put June 11th here. So I know we did these two sets. So next time we will do the next two sets. Okay, so let's move on to our next activity. And that is our book, 50 Very Short Conversations. This is book one. Now, after there, so let's see, we are now, we're doing now today conversation 33. We are doing conversation 33. However, if we look back, last week we did sports, right? Remember last week we, we did this. Do you want to go swimming? No, I'm hurt. We did that. And so the next page is actually a quiz and extension questions. So for each group of conversations, so for example, here are two, four, six, eight conversations, and then there is a set of quizzes and extension questions, right? So we finished the group of eight conversations. So before we do the next set of eight, let's do some quiz quizzes and extension questions. Okay, we'll do some, not, not, we won't do a lot. We'll do a little each week. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the quiz, a couple quizzes and a couple questions. Okay, let's do a couple of each. We did which one doesn't belong, right? We did two. We did number one and number two. Those are done. Yeah, so let's, hmm. We can do it here, I guess. Or we'll just erase it. Okay, here we go. So um, for our first quiz, whoops, what is that? What is that? What is that? All right, here we go. This is, okay, and then I want you to, um, put in the missing word. This is brother and sister. Now I'm going to give you a choice. I'm going to give you a choice. Okay, so here we go. This is your brother and sister. This is my brother and sister. This is mine brother and sister. Okay, so one more time. This is your brother and sister. This is my brother and sister. This is mine brother and sister. Okay, so is it your, my, or mine? Is it your, my, 
or mine? So which one is it? Your, my, or mine? Okay, I've seen some answers coming. Okay, so actually, okay, I should. How about when you're introducing? When you're introducing? When you're introducing, okay, so we. We are introducing because this is, right? So that's introduction. This is, this is. So we're introducing. We are introducing two people. We are introducing two people. Yeah, so this is my, right? So we're introducing this is my brother and sister. So introduction, yeah. So, oh, hello. This is my brother and sister. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> you guys look alike. All three of you look alike, yeah. <laughs> this is my brother and sister. Oh, I see the family resemblance. Oh, yes. Oh, you guys look very different. <laughs> really? Your brother and sisters? Oh, your brother and sister? Wow, you look very different. <laughs> oh, okay, so, um, Raphael, these are my brothers. Well, so, so th this is in a group, okay? So, this is my brother. This is my sister. Okay, if, if I had like brothers and sisters, then I would say these are my brothers and sisters, but I have one of each. This is my brother. This is my sister. Okay, so we, we are, we're not, we don't have plurals here. These are singular, brother and sister. Yeah, so if I said these, these, these are my brother and sister, it, it doesn't really work, right? So if you have these, you need are, right? These are my brother. That's kind of strange, right? These are my sister. No. So uh, this is my brother and sisters. Um, good question. Uh, this is my brother and sisters. I have to think about that. That's a good one. <laughs> this is my brother and these are my... Okay, this is what you would do. So, Air Lady, good question. You would say, this is my brother and these are my sisters. So, you would... You would good one, Air Lady. So, you would say... You would say, this is my brother and these are my sisters. Okay, that's what you would do for that. So that that's a that's actually really good. I didn't think about that. Air lady. So yeah, so if you had one one brother and two sisters, you go this is my brother and these are my sisters. But here we're just having one of each. So this is my sister and brother. Yeah, Radu, these are my brothers and this is my sister. That, yep, so you would just, you could just, you could do the opposite. Yeah, these are my sisters and this is my brother. So the order doesn't matter. They are my, you could do that, they are my, they are my brothers and sisters. But if you're introducing, 
air lady, it's better to say this or um, these, right? So they're they're close to you, right? They're they're close to you, so you go. Oh, this is my brother. This is my wife. This is my husband. This is my friend. Okay. They are my brother and sister. Yeah. But so, so for they, you would maybe if I ask you a question, who are they? Right? So I ask you, if I ask you, air lady, oh, who are they? And then you would say, oh, they are my um, brothers and sisters, or they are my brother and sister. Right? But you are. I'm introducing, so I'm going to say this is or these are, okay? So I'm going to use this or, or um, these, okay? But if you ask me who are they, I'm going to say, oh, they are my um, brothers. They are my sisters. Or she is my sister. He is my brother. My grandma has five brothers and five sisters. Wow, Radu. Yeah, so that my, my wife's mother has a big, big family. Same, same thing. So back, back a long time ago, <laughs> people had large families, right? But today, people don't have such big families today. Okay, good, good. Okay, let's... Let's continue, shall we? Okay, so good job, everyone. Here we go. Here is the next. Here is the next one. Oh, Kayleen, I have five brothers and six. Really? Kayleen, wow, that's a big family. Six kids. Kayleen, wow, big family. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool, actually. That, that it must be, when you're kids, that must have been a crazy house. <laughs> many, many kids everywhere. Okay, let's go. Let's do the next one, shall we? May I introduce to my family? May I introduce to my family? Okay, so may I introduce... May I introduce, may I introduce, mm, what's this word, to my family? Okay, question. May I, mm, to, may I introduce, mm, to my family. May I introduce mm, to my family. So what's this word? What is that word? Okay. Oh, um, I have, I have one sister and two brothers. I have one sister, two brothers. So in my family, there are four kids in my family, four kids in my family. Okay. Let me put a little, little, hyphen there. Okay, that's our next quiz. Okay, may I introduce mm, to my family? Question mark. Okay, already I see some answers and I haven't given you the choices. <laughs> okay, three choices. Here we go. You, him, it's. You, him, it's. So for example, may I, inter <coughs> may I introduce you to my family? May I introduce him to my family? May I introduce it to my family? Okay, one more time. <clears throat> May I introduce you to my family? May I introduce him to my family? May I introduce it to my family? And the answer is you. Yes, may I introduce you to my family. May I introduce you. Now the situation here, 
I'm asking you permission, right? For example, maybe you don't want to. Like, oh, I, 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 actually, I'm really shy, and I'm nervous, and I would prefer you not to introduce me to your family. So maybe I'm super, super shy, I'm nervous, and so I would rather you not introduce me to your family, right? So I'm asking you permission. May I introduce you to my family? Right? So that, that's, that's very, that's, that's kind, that's courteous, right? Because some people, maybe they feel uncomfortable or, you know, they, they just met you and they're not ready to meet your family, right? So maybe you have a new friend or you have a new girlfriend or a new boyfriend and it's, it's, it's a new relationship. It, it's, right now it's just you two and maybe soon you're not going to be friends right so when you meet people it takes some time to get to know each other it takes some time to be friends right and then after you become you know pretty good friends then maybe you want you want to meet their family right so it's it's best to to ask permission may i that's asking permission, right? May I introduce you to my family? And then, um, oh yeah, sure. Oh yeah, I w of course, I want to meet your family. Or uh, how about next time? Or how about later? Or um, I'm not ready to meet your family yet. Okay. Let's see. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. So Rita has two siblings. I have three siblings. Tomas, may I introduce him to? May I may I introduce him also? Good depends on the city. Um, him. May I introduce him to my family? Well, okay. So not not really. Um, so so may I introduce? Him. So, him is just a pronoun, right? So it, it's a possessive pronoun, right? Him. And so you're 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 not you're not directly um, you're you're not directly talking to that person, right? So that sounds that's a little strange, Tomas. You would say. Um, you know, so I'm talking to you. May I introduce you to my family? Um, and then, oh, may I? So, may I? I'm, I'm, I'm talking to someone directly. Him isn't direct. Lulu, you can say him as... Uh, I don't think so, no. Him, her, like um, her. It is hers right? Her. That, that's her and him. So I'm thinking of like what situations we use for him and her. So um, he, him. So he is my friend. Who's your friend? Him. him. So oh, I'm think, I can't think of an example. Him. Someone, okay, someone give me an example of him. Use him in a sentence, please. May I introduce him to my family? Yeah, that, that doesn't. You could ask this question to a person that from the family to the unsure what. Oh, I see. So I'm asking, do you want to meet him? Okay, so, okay, this is the situation. Okay, so I'm talking to my family. And I have a friend. And the, the, my family says, Oh, please introduce me to him. Please introduce us to him. So he's not there. Or, so when you, when he would not be there, okay? So in this situation for him, that person would not be in the room, okay? That person would not be in the room. So let, let's say we have, you know, a family. 
right? So we have a family here, and I'm talking, and I'm saying, oh yeah, I have, I have a new friend. I have this new friend. So here, we're in the house. Okay, so we're, so we're in the house, and we're talking. I say, oh yeah, I met a new friend. And they go, oh, please introduce us to him. I go, okay, yeah, um, I will see him next week, and I will introduce him to you, okay? So we're talking about him, but he's not there. Then, so it would be different situation. It would be, oh, please introduce us to him. Please introduce us to him. Please introduce us to him. Okay, so they're saying, let's say this is a mother and father, mother and father, and they're saying, oh, please introduce, talking to me. Okay, so they're talking to me. Please, in, please introduce us to him. And then I say, okay, I will introduce you to him next week. Okay. I will introduce him to you next week. Okay. Okay, remember, Tomas, we're not talking about Hungarian. <laughs> we're, Tomas, this is, this is English, okay? So, um, remember we talked about kids and adults, where, where um, young people accept it, and adults want to, like, oh, right? So, you're, you're doing that, Tomas. Don't do that. So, we are not talking about Hungarian. We are talking about English. Red, do, may I introduce him to my family? Yeah, no. Um, let's see, Mao says, can you pass this pin to him for me? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so they're saying that, and I go, okay, I will. And so then I go, and give him the pin. Yep. So he's, him, he, he's not in the conversation. He's not around. So they're talking about him, but he's not there. He's not there. Okay. Okay. So Lulu, we are 11. So Lulu's not kidding. He has, his family is a, a, a soccer team. <laughs> his, 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 his um, team is a soccer team. Okay, Tomas' example. Mark, this is my husband. May I introduce him to your family? Yeah, that works. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 but he's not there, right? Because you're not using his name. So if he's there, you would, you would use his name. You wouldn't say him. So you would say, oh, oh, this is my husband. Um, may I introduce, you know, Tomas to your family? Then Tomas is there. But when you're using him, he's not there. If you're using him and he's there, you're being rude because, you know, hey, I'm not a him, I'm Mark. Why aren't you using my name? Why do you say him? So him, you use that when the person is not present. The person is not there. The person is somewhere else, not there. So use him. Otherwise, use his name. All 
I always introduce me to myself to not lose my mind. <laughs> Lulu, may I introduce him with my parents tonight? So you would say to. May I introduce him to my parents tonight? But remember, like him, he is not there. He is not there. If he's there, please use his name. What I do, may I introduce him to our family? Yes, yes, but just remember, he is not there. Okay? So he is not there. So that's, so here, you're talking to the person. May I introduce you to my family? So you are, may I introduce you? So I'm talking to you, right? But in this situation, him, he's not there. He is not there. Okay. Welcome. Please make himself, please make yourself at home. Please make yourself, so I'm talking to you, so I'm saying yourself. Please make yourself at home. So I'm talking to you. Okay, Air Lady says, uh, when I don't answer some questions because I don't know for sure, I hope you are not. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I hope you are upset. Why? Yeah. Air Lady, don't worry. That, I'm happy you, you, that was a good question. So, yeah, yeah, Air Lady, don't, <laughs> no stress. Air Lady, please. Don't, don't, no problem, Air Lady. No, I, yeah, don't even think twice. Don't think twice. Don't think twice. Okay, Sebu says, I understand. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, so just remember, Ava, you introduce your family to him then. So, him is just like, him and her, him and her, they're not present. They are not with you, okay? They're in a different place, okay? Then you use him and her. But if you're in the same room, use the person's name. Use the person's name. Okay, let's... Let's do, I'm looking at the clock, okay. Um, we have to change topics here. We have to change topics, okay. So, um, okay, I think we should do the conversation now. Yeah, okay, so let's do the conversation. So this was a little quiz, and now let's do the conversation, all right. So our conversation is 33. Conversation 33, okay, so in the supermarket. So the topic is in the supermarket. Okay, Lulu. Let's see. Mark makes me unimaginably sad because I want to introduce him with daddy but he's still not coming so mark is making me very sad unimaginably unimaginably sad because i want to introduce him to daddy but he's still not coming okay so you're you're i'm not there lulu you're like you're talking about me to your friend i'm not when you say him that means I'm not in the room. I am not with you, okay? I, okay, not together. Somewhere else, not together. So when you say him, you are, the, the, the person is not with you. The person is not with you. Okay, here we go. Conversation 33 in a supermarket or in the supermarket. Step one, I'm going to read the conversation. Step two, I will write the conversation on the board and then we will practice the conversation, okay? So here we go. Step one, please listen to the conversation. Where's the cheese? It's on aisle three. Thanks. 
How about yogurt? It's next to the cheese. Thank you for your help. It's my pleasure. Okay, one more time. <clears throat> Where's the cheese? It's on aisle three. Thanks. How about yogurt? It's next to the cheese. Thank you for your help. It's my pleasure. <laughs> right, dude. The world would be a sad place without cheese. I agree. I love cheese. I, I love cheese. I eat, I eat cheese almost every day. I like it. I like it. Okay, I'm just going to go him, her. Okay. So we're going to take a picture of the whiteboard. So, okay, so the person is out. Okay, I'm going to write the conversation on the board and then we will practice. Okay, where's that cheese? <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to start right here. Okay. I don't have much space, do I? Okay, what I'm going to do, uh, there's not enough space to write the conversation. So I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard, and then I'm going to erase the whiteboard. Okay, so first, I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard, and I always um, take a picture and put it on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So that way you can always check out the whiteboards anytime you want to. Okay, so turn on my camera. There we go. And I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. You can't see me, but you can hear me. Here we go. Count down. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got a picture. So now I can erase the whiteboard, and that's what I will do. Okay, I'm going to take these off. So I can erase the board. I can't erase the board with the cards on the board, can I? No, I can't. Okay, now I can erase the board. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to have a clean whiteboard in a second here. A few seconds. We can count. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Okay. It's a clean whiteboard. Now I can write the conversation on the board without any stress. <laughs> Okay, here we go. A, B, A, B, A, B, A says, where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? B says, it's on aisle, it's on aisle three. Aisle three, okay. Then A says, thanks. Yeah, because it's polite. Thanks. Uh, how about yogurt? How about yogurt? Whoops. Okay, that. Uh, sorry about the, the writing. Okay, B says, it's next to the cheese. It's next to the cheese. A says, thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. B says, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Pleasure. Okay, good. So there is the conversation. We will now talk about it. Let me show you the picture one more time. So there's the, the picture, right? And so the first two lines are here, and, and then it continues down here, right? So he's, he's looking for cheese. 
He's looking for the cheese. Okay. <laughs> where's the cheese? Oh, no, where's the cheese? I can't find the cheese. Excuse me. Where's the cheese? Excuse me. Where's the cheese? Oh, it's on aisle three. Oh, it's on aisle three. It's on aisle three. Thanks. How about yogurt? Thanks. How about yogurt? It's next to the cheese. It's next to the cheese. Here's the cheese. Yogurt is next to the cheese. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Okay, so here, here's a shopper, right? The shopper is looking for cheese. So the shop, he, the, maybe it's a big supermarket and it's the first time this person has been to the supermarket or that particular supermarket. The first time that shopper has been to that particular supermarket. It is the first time that shopper has been to that particular supermarket. It is the first time that that shopper has been to that particular supermarket. <laughs> so that the shopper can't find the cheese. I can't find the cheese because this supermarket is too big. It's too confusing. I'm lost. I can't find the cheese. Where's the cheese? Then the, 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 the employee, the person working at the supermarket says, it's on aisle three. So each supermar every supermarket has aisles. So you have aisle one, aisle two, and those are rows, right? And on both sides, there are, there are shelving where the food is um, stored. So the, the food is on these, these shelves in the supermarket. And the shelves run down, and between the shelves is an aisle. So we have, so if you look up, there might be a sign, right, hanging from the ceiling, aisle one, aisle two, aisle three. And if it's a big supermarket, there could be 10, 12 aisles, right? Depends how big is the supermarket. So the cheese is on aisle three. So the shopper can just go look, oh, there's aisle one, there's aisle two, oh, aisle three, and just goes down the aisle and until the person finds the cheese, yeah? So it's on aisle three. Then um, the customer says, thanks. How about yogurt? So instead of saying, oh, where's the yogurt? You can just say, how about yogurt? Because here we're already establishing, this has already been said, where's the, right? Where's the cheese? So now we understand, okay, we're, the, the shopper is looking for things. So the shopper is asking questions about where food is. Where's the cheese? It's on aisle three, thanks. How about yogurt? So you don't have to say, where's the yogurt? You can say, how about yogurt? How about steak? How about milk? How about, how about bread? How about cereal? How about, mm, how about rice? How about vegetables? How about fruit? Okay, so you could just say how about, and then we understand, right? How about yogurt? And then the employee says, it's next to the cheese. It's next to the cheese. So the, the, the yogurt is next to the cheese because they're basically made from the same thing, right? So in the supermarket, it's, things are put together logically, right? So when you're in the supermarket, so the bread's gonna be there, the cereal, the cereal, bread, and cookies are kinda gonna be close by because they kinda go together logically, right? Then uh, you have, you know, milk, cheese, yogurt, they, they go together, right? They're dairy. So, so supermarkets are logically put together. <laughs> things that go together, or things that are similar, things that are similar, made from the same things, are together, right? So 
there might be bread, like for sandwiches, you have tortillas for making tacos, right? And, you know, different bread things will be together, right? Tortillas, like corn, and then you have like wheat bread, flour bread, and things like that. So they're together. Um, cans, right? So canned food is all together. Then you have, um, th then you have like condiments, right? Sugar, salt, spices, they're, they're together, right? Because logically these things go together. <laughs> so next to the cheese, thank you for your help, right? You want to be polite, right? You asked the, the, you asked the employee, the, the, the shopkeeper, information and the shopkeeper gave you answers so you say thank you you want to be polite and then if someone says thank you to you you can say you're welcome you can say it's my pleasure you can say oh it's no problem you can say oh forget it I was like it's my job right so so Thank you for your help. It's my pleasure. Okay, so there we go. That is the conversation. Ah, brie cheese. My favorite cheese is cheddar. And then I like blue cheese a lot. Well, actually, for salad dressing, I like blue cheese on my salad very much. Um... But if I'm going to just eat cheese, I, my favorite is a cheddar, kind of a sharp cheddar, a sharp cheddar, sharp cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese. I also like a, a jack cheese. So, yeah, I like all kinds of cheeses. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's actually go slowly and quickly. Let's do some speed practice with the conversation. Ready? We will go slowly and quickly. Here we go. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? Where is the cheese? Where is the cheese? Where's the cheese? Where is the cheese? Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? It's on aisle three. It's on aisle three. It is on aisle three. It is on aisle three. It's on aisle three. It's on aisle three. Aisle. Aisle. It's on aisle three. Aisle. Aisle. It's on aisle three. Thanks. How about yogurt? How about yogurt? How about cereal? How about cereal? How about soup? How about soup? How about potato chips? How about potato chips? How about cookies? How about cookies? How about vegetables? How about vegetables? How about fruit? How about fruit? How about spices? How about spices? How about... How about lunch meat? How about lunch meat? How about lunch meat? How about tuna fish? How about tuna fish? How about tuna fish? <laughs> it's next to the cheese. It's next to the cheese. It's next to the cheese. It's next to the milk. It's next to the milk. It's next to the milk. It's next to the cottage cheese. It's it's next to the cottage cheese. It's next to the cottage cheese. It's next to the beer. It's next to the beer. It's next to the wine. It's next to the wine. It's next to the frozen foods. It's next to the frozen foods. It's next to the poultry. It's next to the poultry. It's next to the frozen foods. Or I said that, didn't I? It's next to the condiments. It's next to the condiments. It's next to the produce. It's next to the produce. Thank you for your help. 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 It's my pleasure. 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 Okay. All right. Now, let's 
role play, yeah? So I will be A, you will be B. A, B, A, B. I will start first. I will be A. You will be B. Okay? So you say the B lines, I say the A lines. Okay, here we go. Role play, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Where's the cheese? Thanks. How about yogurt? Thank you for your help. <laughs> okay, see you later. <laughs> I'm going to go get the cheese now. Okay, good. Let's do it again. Second time. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, where's the cheese? Thanks. How about yogurt? Thank you for your help. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, three's a charm, right? We always say three's a charm. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Where's the cheese? Thanks. How about yogurt? Thank you for your help. See you later. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Let's switch. You're A, I'm B. A, B, A, B. Yeah, so you say A, I will say B. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. It's on aisle three. It's next to the cheese. It's my pleasure. <laughs> I'm happy to help you. It's my pleasure to help you. I, by helping you, I'm happy. It makes me happy to help you. I am happy to help you. <laughs> okay, second time. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. It's on aisle three. It's next to the cheese. It's my pleasure. <laughs> One more time, Sewu. Okay, this third time. Five, four, three, two, one, go. It's on aisle three. It's next to the cheese. It's my pleasure. <laughs> I am happy to help. It makes me happy to help you. I'm happy to help you. Sewu. Thank you, Sewu. Today is a great day. Thank you so much, Sewu. The, the, the green team, you're the best. You're the best. The green team is the best. You know what, they, the green team supports me and the channel every day and here's extra support today. So, no sweat. It was no sweat. That's right, Tomas, good job. It's no sweat. Thank you for your help. Ah, no sweat. That means I didn't have to do much. <laughs> I didn't have to sweat. It was easy to help. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so there we go. There's the conversation. We role played. Uh, we, we did pronunciation, pronunciation practice, and um, we explained what, how, this, how um, we use the conversation. So good job, everyone. Okay, good, good, good. Well, let's... Um, Put the book away for now, okay? So you can, uh, there's three books at um, Amazon.com. The link is below in the descriptions. If you want your own book, it's really easy. Yes, it is. Go to Amazon.com. Okay, there we go. Now it's time for the members only. The green team. The green team sentences, yeah? So on, on Friday, we do our green team's cards yeah so they made the sentences this this week right so 
we got dictation cards. So you need a pencil. You need paper because you are going to listen and write down what I say word for word, all right? And today's topic is cookout, 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 cookout. And this means to cook outdoors, to cook out doors, right? Kind of like, you know, barbecue, right? Have a cookout. And it, it doesn't have to be barbecue, right? So when you say barbecue, you're using a barbecue, right? But um, here, it's just having a meal outside. So it could be, it can be, um, it could be a picnic. Or no, no picnic, no, because a picnic is you bring, you bring food with you. But a cookout, you are, you're um, making the food outdoors. So, so we don't use it a lot. It, we, you, we mostly say barbecue, but you can say cookout. Oh, let's have a cookout. So, okay. So that's what we're doing. And we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards today. And our our sent our members today, our cards are by Tomas, Tomas, Ava, Sewu, Miley, Sophia, Marion, Lolly, Rita. Dr. Ramirez, Larissa, Gio Flacchi. Okay, so those are our 11 cards today and our um, topic, cookout, cookout. Okay, so let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. And we will have four steps, four steps. Step one, dictation. Dictation, you're going to listen and write down what I say, word for word. Step two is um, shadow. Okay, so it's speaking practice. So not writing, but speaking. Three, um, pronunciation. Pronunciation, we will um, go over the, the important words, how to pronounce the words, and then we'll have a quiz. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so let's do it. Let's do it. Um, okay, here we go. Let's count down to, let's count down to dictation cards. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Card number one, we had a cookout one year ago. We had a cookout one year ago. We had a cookout one year ago. Two. When I went to a children's camp, we always had a cookout. When I went to a children's camp, we always had a cookout. When I went to a children's camp, we always had a cookout. Three. I don't remember my last cookout. I missed that time. I don't remember my last cookout. I miss that time. I don't remember my last cookout. I miss that time. Okay, number four. 
I would like to buy a barbecue for my house in Tuscany in order to cook out with my friends. I would like to buy a barbecue for my house in Tuscany in order to cook out with my friends. I would like to buy a barbecue for my house in Tuscany in order to cook out with my friends. Number five. I had a cookout for my husband's birthday, an amazing barbecue. I had a cookout for my husband's birthday, an amazing barbecue. I had a cookout for my husband's birthday, an amazing barbecue. Okay, number six. The owner of the cottage invited us to a cookout. The owner of the cottage invited us to a cookout. The owner of the cottage invited us to a cookout. The owner of the cottage invited us to a cookout. Okay, number seven. I'm having a cookout next Sunday. I hope you can come. I am having a cookout next Sunday. I hope you can come. I am having a cookout next Sunday. I hope you can come. Okay, number eight. Joe showed his talent at a cookout for a street food event. Joe showed his talent at a cookout for a street food event. Joe showed his talent at a cookout for a street food event. Okay, this is nine. Number nine. Cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do. Cookouts with my family is one of the best. Okay. Cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do. Cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do. I know people are going to say, is it R? I think we want to go with like, it's a, a, um, it's a um, collective noun. Let's, let's call it a collective noun, cookouts. So it's, it's one, one idea. Okay. <laughs> I know everyone's going, no, it's R. Cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do. I, I, I want to go with is. I'm thinking it's singular. Cookouts. I'm thinking it's an activity. It's a, it's a, a, um, you know, it, it's it's a collective noun. I want to say it's a collective noun. Okay, people are gonna go. No, R. I, I'm gonna go with the is. Okay. Um, okay, number ten. Number ten. Okay, Helga. Okay, Helga's saying it's fast. 
What we're going to do, Helga, is I, I am going a little fast because I'm looking at the clock. We're, we're going to shadow, okay? And you will see, okay? So, Helga, I know I'm going fast. Sorry, sorry. So, I'm, I'm going a little fast. I know that. I'm sorry. But we will do um, shadowing and pronunciation, okay? So, we still have a lot. Um, we're going to do, we still have more time to practice these, okay? So, sorry, Helga. Okay, here we go. Number 10. We often have a family cookout during our short summer. We often have a family cookout during our short summer. We often have a family cookout during our short summer. Okay, here we go. Number 11. I had a cookout with my wood oven. I made pizza from a secret recipe. I had a cookout with my wood oven. I made pizza from a secret recipe. I had a cookout with my wood oven. I made pizza from a secret recipe. Okay, I know it went fast and they're, the sentences were pretty long, so don't worry because we will shadow now and you will see the sentence uh, and we will talk about the meaning, okay? So don't, don't, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. <laughs> if you didn't get it all, don't worry about it, okay? We're going to have more and more practice, lots of practice. Okay, here we go. Shadowing. This is speaking practice, not writing practice, but speaking practice. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. We had a cookout one year ago. We had a cookout one year ago. We had a cookout one year ago. This is Tomas's sentence. Mrs. G. <laughs> oh, yes. We had a cookout one year ago. Yes, 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 yes. That was Tomas. Mrs. G, today is a good day for me. Thank you, Mrs. G. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Very, very generous. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. Mwah. Yay, my four ladies. Yes, my four ladies. Lolly, Ava, Seiru, and Mrs. G. Wonderful ladies. Mwah. The green team. Again, extra support. I really, really appreciate it. I really, really do. Oh, mwah. love you, love you. Love you. Okay, here we go. Card number two. When I went to a children's camp, we always had a cookout. When I went to a children's camp, we always had a cookout. When I went to a children's camp, we always had a cookout. Yeah, Tomas. Yes, yes, yes. So, so cookout to cook outdoors, right? So most people use a barbecue to cook outdoors, right? So. Um, Barbecue is the, the thing that we grill meat on, but um, a cookout is just cooking outdoors, okay? All right, this is Ava, Ava's card. When I went to a children's camp, we always had a cookout. Yep, me too. When I went to a children's camp, that's very true. I think that's something that when you go to camp, that's what people do. That's what kids do. That's part of like one of the activities, right? Cooking outside, right? Because it's fun, it's unusual, right? Normally, we cook in our kitchen, right? Inside, but if it's summer and it's warm outside and, and um, it's fun to cook outside, right? Okay, here we go, three. Yes, the four ladies, Mwah! the four beautiful ladies, the four beautiful ladies. 
Okay, here we go. Card number three. I don't remember my last cookout. I miss that time. I don't remember my last cookout. I miss that time. <laughs> it is cute, huh? Very, this is Ava when she's a... This was Ava when she was a child. <laughs> I don't remember my last cookout. I miss that time. This is Sewu's card. I don't remember my last cookout. I miss that time. Well, Abe, or I mean, Sewu, let's do it this summer. Let's have a cookout this summer, all right, Sewu? <laughs> okay, card number four. Good, good, Tomas. Yep. So, cookout is kind of just like a party, right? Like, oh, let's have a cookout. Let's have a party. Let's, let's eat outside. Let's cook outside. So, that's kind of like more you're thinking like a party situation. Let's have a cookout. Oh, great idea. Let's invite a bunch of friends. In the camp, uh, we're 50 children. Yeah, or, yeah, I've been to those. Yep, Ava, I know exactly what you're talking about. Exactly. Okay, good, Seiru. Let's have a cookout. Four. I would like to buy a barbecue for my house in Tuscany in order to cook out with my friends. I would like to buy a barbecue for my house in Tuscany in order to cook out with my friends. I would like to buy a barbecue for my house in Tuscany in order to cook out with my friends. This is Miley. I, I would like to buy a barbecue for my house in Tuscany. So Miley lives in Italy and Tuscany is in Italy. I think it's, isn't it like a, it's a region fame in Italy, right? That beautiful maybe like grapes they grow grapes there and um, a lot of people have vacation homes in Tuscany I think I've never been to Italy but I, I, I've heard of Tuscany I would like to buy a barbecue from my house in Tuscany in order to cook out with my friends so in order to so for the purpose right so I would like to buy a barbecue why um, in order to have cookouts, right? For the purpose of having cookouts. In order to, for the purpose of, for the purpose of. Okay, number five. I had a cookout for my husband's birthday in Amazing Barbecue. I had a cookout for my husband's birthday an amazing barbecue. I had a cookout for my husband's birthday. An amazing barbecue. This is Sophia. I had a cookout for my husband's birthday. An amazing barbecue. So here, so, oh, this is Sophia, right? Sophia's card. So here she said, okay, she had a cookout, a party, for her husband's birthday. And an amazing barbecue meaning the meat. Okay, so we have we have we have the thing. This is a barbecue. And we also say, oh, um, do you like barbecue? Meaning, do you like barbecue meat? Barbecued meat. And so um, Sophia's saying, an amazing barbecue. So the meat was amazing, the taste was amazing. So an amazing barbecue. So the food was amazing. This, your, your, your food was amazing. What barbecue, what, what delicious barbecue you had, right? So we're talking about the food, an amazing barbecue. That's the food. Okay, number six, number six. Oh, okay, good, good, Air Lady. So, so Norman is Air Lady's husband. So Air Lady said, Norman explained to me what does, what barbecue, or um, Norman explained to me 
what cookout means. So now Air Lady knows. Very good. Okay, uh, number six. The owner of the cottage invited us to a cookout. The owner of the cottage invited us to a cookout. The owner of the cottage invited us to a cookout. The owner of the cottage invited us to a cookout. This is Marion's sentence. Now, here, the owner of the cottage. So, so here, maybe um, Marion went and rented a cottage, which is, cottage means a small house, you know, so it would be like in the countryside, right? A cottage would be in the countryside, it's small, and so maybe it's like a vacation place. And so Marion went to this cottage, a small house in the countryside, and maybe there's a few cottages, right? And then the owner of the cottages, maybe the owner has a big house, and then um, there's little houses around where the owner rents them out for, for summer vacation. And so that owner of the cottage that Marion rented from has cookouts, right? So, oh, come to my cookout, right? And so it, it makes the, the atmosphere better, right? It makes the vacation better. So then Marion said, oh, we had a great time. Let's go back. And so the owner wants the guests to have fun, have a good time. So they come back. They want, right? It's a business. So treat your customers good. So they come back, right? So nice one. The owner of the cottage invited us to a cookout. <laughs> okay, good, Marion. All right, here we go. Next card. I am having a cookout next Sunday. I hope you can come. I am having a cookout next Sunday. I hope you can come. I am having a cookout next Sunday. I hope you can come. This is Lolly's sentence. I am having a cookout next Sunday. I hope you can come. So this is an invitation, right? So, so Lolly's having a party at her house and it's gonna be a cookout. So we're going to cook outside, we're gonna eat outside, we're going to have a good time outside. And so Lolly is inviting us. And so she's saying, I hope you can come. So um, if you can't, I understand, but I wish you would come. I hope you can come to my cookout. And Lolly, I would love to come, okay? I just need plane tickets. <laughs> so Lolly, send me a plane ticket to, to France and I will be there. <laughs> so I'll wait for my ticket to come and then I will be right there. Okay, here we go, our next card. Joe showed us Joe showed his talent at a cookout for a street food event. Joe showed his talent at a cookout for a street food event. Joe showed his talent at a cookout for a street food event. This is Rita. <laughs> You're okay. Actually, this is. Um, touches, this is actually Lolly's cookout, not my cookout. So you have to go to France. <laughs> this is, it's Lolly. I'm not having a cookout. Lolly's having a cookout. <laughs> Uh-oh, Joe. Joe showed his talent at a cookout for a street food event. Oh, Joe. Not, his talent isn't so good is it <laughs> no I'm kidding this is Rita's Rita's sentence Joe showed his talent at a cookout for a street food event oh Joe I don't know how much talent he has <laughs> okay here we go card number nine cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do. Cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do. Okay, 
we're going to have some controversy here. We're going to have some people disagreeing, and I think they're both right. Okay, cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do. This is Dr. Ameris's card. So her family, they have cookouts, her family, and maybe they have other events. They have, they, her, Dr. Ameris's family, they, they do things together, right? They go to the beach together. They do different things together, but um, cookouts is one of the best things they do. So um, I put is, or, or she put, it, I think is, is works. I think either works because it's how we look at it. Like cookouts is one of the best things. So of the, all the things, this is one of it, right? So we're, we're looking at it in a singular form. We're looking at it singularly. I'm looking at it, and I think Dr. Maris looks at it singular, right? You know, the cookouts is one event, okay? So cookouts with my family is one of the best things, okay? So I'm looking at it as singular, okay? Radu, you're looking at it as plural. That's okay. I, either way, is okay. I think both work. You can say cookouts with my family are one of the, I want to say is, sorry, like it just it sounds more natural, is sounds more natural to me. So um, I, I think I, I would use is, but I'm sure grammarly it, it are, but I'm going to say is. Okay, here we go. 10. We often have a family cookout during our short summer. We often have a family cookout during our hot, not hot, short summer. Sorry, sorry. We often have a family cookout during our short summer. Okay. We often have a family cookout during our short summer. This is Larissa's card. This is Larissa's card. And we often have a family cookout during our short summer. So Larissa, I don't know where, I think Larissa maybe lives in Russia. Maybe she lives in Russia. So maybe they have a short summer in Russia. They have long winter, short summer. So, so Larissa, her, her summers are short, so what's popular, have, have a cookout, right? Oh, okay, the weather's warm, let's do it, because the other times of the year, it's too difficult, it's too cold to have a cookout, right? So take advantage. Oh, we have beautiful weather, let's do it, because we don't know when we're going to have um, this nice weather again, right? So let's, let's take advantage. Carpe diem, right? Seize the day, carpe diem. And let's seize the day. Let's let's take advantage. Let's. It's a beautiful day. It's a warm day. Let's have a cookout. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Yeah, Raphael. I, it's an idiom. Cookout is an idiom. So, um, in the dictionary, they put the hyphen. So, um, it's an idiom. Yeah, Radu, seize the moment. Yeah, live the moment, seize the day. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. So, cookout is an idiom, and the dictionary has a hyphen. Okay, here we go, number 11. Oh, D often. I, I do both. I'm from California. Um, mm, so sometimes I go often, sometimes I say often. <laughs> because I used to always do often, right? So I always used to pronounce it often, t -t often. But I've been in Japan for a long time and teaching online, right? Doing YouTube for a long time. And so 
Um, lots of people go, ah, I don't pronounce it. I don't know. So, so I don't know. I've kind of lost that a little bit over the years. So sometimes I say often. Sometimes, sometimes I say often. So, but in California, where I'm from, I grew up saying often. But um, so it doesn't. Either way, you could say often or often. And actually, these days, I kind of do both. <laughs> okay, here we go, our last card. I had a cookout with my wood oven. I made pizza from a secret recipe. I had a cookout with my wood oven. I made pizza from a secret recipe. I had a cookout with my wood oven. I made pizza from a secret recipe. Yes, Vilmar. So both, yep, yep. It's just, it's kind of regional at how, how you learned it, you know? Like, so both are no problem, no sweat. If you want to go often or often. So it could be, the T could be silent or pronounced. So it's up to you. Okay, here we go. This is the last card. This is Geoflacky. I had a cookout with my wood oven. I made pizza from a secret recipe. I want to try Geoflacky's pizza. I love pizza. And this is an outdoor pizza oven. So it's outside, made of bricks and the, the wood, wood, wood fire. Right, so no gas, no charcoal, it's wood. So the wood is heating the oven that is cooking the pizza. So the wood heats the oven that cooks the pizza. The wood heats the oven that cooks the pizza. The wood heats the oven that cooks the pizza. The wood heats the oven that cooks the pizza. The the pizza. I love pizza. Pizza is my favorite food. So Gio Flacky, he's not here, but I would love to try your pizza, your secret recipe pizza. I would love to try your secret recipe pizza. I really would. Oh boy. Okay, good everyone. All right, all right. Well, that was shadowing. Okay, good. Real quick, let's do some of the pronunciation, then we'll have the quiz, okay? So we got to move here. <laughs> I don't always put pineapple on my pizza. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I, not always, Radu. Not always. <laughs> Radu thinks I'm like only pineapple pizza person. No, no. Actually, my favorite pizza toppings are green peppers and pepperoni. That's my favorite pizza. Green peppers and pepperoni. But I also like Pineapple pizza. I like pineapple pizza, but it's not my first choice. Okay. Tomas, ham and cheese, or ham and mushroom is Tomas's. I like mushroom. I like. I, I like. I love pizza. It's my favorite. Um, here in Japan, they have some crazy toppings. They put here in Japan, they put mayonnaise on pizza. I can't believe it. They put honey on pizza. No. They put mayonnaise on pizza. They put honey on pizza. They put um, squid on pizza. They put seaweed on pizza. They put corn on pizza. Corn. No, not corn. And what else? They put, then they have like dessert pizzas, chocolate and banana pizza. Um, like strawberries and chocolate on pizza. Ah, no, no, no. So I'm a pure, I like, I like tomato sauce, cheese, and then just simple ingredients, right? Green pepper, pepperoni. Oh, Raphael, I love corn pizza. No, no, not corn. No, no. Corn does not belong on pizza. 
Yeah, Radu, honey on pizza. Crazy, huh? My kids love honey pizza. Like, no, 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 no. Don't put honey on pizza, please. Okay, jalapeno's good. Yeah, I like jalapeno. Wow, Radu, corn on pizza equals delicious. Wow. Yeah, Ava, honey pizza is crazy, isn't it? I agree, Ava. I agree. <laughs> yeah, Vilmore. I like pineapple, but um, pineapple on pizza is, that that works. <laughs> okay, let's do let's do. Um, okay, I'll come. I'll go to India. Bacon on pizza is okay, not corn, please. <laughs> okay, let's do, let's, this, this could go on forever. Talking about pizza toppings is endless, right? But let, sorry, let's stop the pizza topping debate. No tuna, no, no tuna, no, 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 no. So we can, yep, no tuna on pizza, please, no. Um, yeah, this debate can go on forever. Actually, I love um, I, I love sardines on or, or not not sardines. Yeah, sardines is that? I like sardines on pizza. Yeah, <laughs> but pizza toppings can go the the the, the debate can go on forever. So um, yeah, Radu, they call it dessert pizza. Dessert pizza. Ugh. Okay, Let, let's, let's stop the pizza debate. Chicken pizza, no. Okay, okay, we got, we, that could be a whole video, that can be a whole live stream, just talking only about pizza. Okay, let's do pronunciation real quick. I'm looking at the clock. We are over time. We have to get going. Anchovies, yeah, I, actually not sardines. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Anchovies, yeah. Um, Mendez, I love anchovies on pizza. Yes, anchovy pizza. I love anchovy pizza. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Okay, um, we had a cookout one year ago. One year ago. One year ago. When I went to children's camp, we always had a cookout. Children's camp. Children's camp. Children's camp. Children's camp. I miss that time. I miss that time. I miss that time. In order, in order to cook out. In order to cook out, in order to cook out, in order to cook out. An amazing barbecue, an amazing barbecue, an amazing barbecue. Invited us to a cookout. Invited us to a cookout. Invited us to a cookout. I hope you can come. 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 Street food event. Street food event, street food event, street food event. One of the best things we do, one of the best things we do, one of the best things we do, one of the best things we do. During our short summer, during our short summer, 
during our short summer. During our short summer. From a secret recipe. From a secret recipe. From a secret recipe. From a secret recipe. Okay, okay, that was a little bit of pronunciation. Okay, now we got to do the quiz. Quiz time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix up the cards. We're going to do the quiz. I'm going to mix up the cards and we're going to choose the top three cards. And please say, or not say, but please, yeah, say and write in the chat what um, Write and say the sentence in the chat. Write and say the sentence in the chat but by only looking at the picture. By only looking at the picture. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. The three cards. What are the three cards? I don't know. I have no idea. Here we go. Here's a card. And that's going to cover the sentence. Okay. Please say the sentence. Here we go. Please write the sentence in the chat. What is the sentence? What is the sentence? This is Sophia. What is the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? Marcos is back. Okay, do you remember the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? Okay, Marion, I had a cookout for my husband's birthday, an amazing barbecue. Marion, very good, Helga. I had a cookout for my husband's birthday, an amazing barbecue, very good. Yeah, Air Lady, barbecue, good. Samuel, I'm having a cookout, I hope you can come. Radu, I had a cookout for my husband's birthday, an amazing barbecue. So some of these are long, so you guys, you know, I, if, you, if you don't get it all, that's okay. The important thing is just do what you can, right? Do what you can. Some of these sentences are very long, so I know it's, it's difficult, but um, actually, it, it's good, actually, because um, the, the people who are more advanced, they could do it, and the, and the more beginners, maybe you just do little chunks, little, little pieces of the sentence. So, so it works for everyone. So everyone can, can um, challenge themselves. Everyone can have fun. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, that, Vilmar, that sounds like a very delicious pizza. Sardines, onion, tomato, garlic. I like garlic on pizza. That, Vilmar, that sounds like an excellent pizza. Excellent. Excelente. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's check out the sentence. I had a cookout for my husband's birthday. An amazing barbecue. Very good. Yes, mozzarella. I mozzarella, of course. Yes, so mozzarella is best on pizza for sure, for sure. Okay, here we go. Card number two. Card number two. What is the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? This is Dr. Ramirez's sentence. Do you remember? This was our controversy. This is our, this was controversy. Do you remember this? Some controversy. We had some controversy. What is the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? Okay, here we go. Helga, 
Cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do. So cookouts. Okay, Marion, cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do. Very good. Cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do. Radu, very good. Oh, Radu used is. <laughs> gotcha, Radu. I gotcha. Samuel. <laughs> Samuel. Uh, cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do. Yeah, Helga, cookouts. Okay, um, Tog, yeah. I had a cookout for my husband's birthday, an amazing barbecue. Ava, the sentence is about spending time. Yeah, that's right. Yes, Ava. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding, right, dude. Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. Cookouts with my family is one of the best things we do. Okay, good. Let's do one more. Here we go. Number three. What is the sentence? Our third card, our last card is from Lolly. This is card number three. Do you remember? Yes, Dr. Maris, that is your sentence. I have a hard accent from Brazil. So you, you have a, a strong accent, air lady. I have a strong accent. All right, what is the sentence? What is Lolly's sentence? Do you remember Lolly's sentence? Okay, Marion, I am having a cookout next Sunday. I hope you can come. <laughs> okay, Air Lady, what? Norman, Car I, I, that second word, I don't understand. Cor cor 24 hours. 24 hours. Oh, corrects me. Okay, I, I think Norman corrects me 24 hours a day. So, Air Lady, Norman corrects me 24 hours a day. Norman corrects me 24 hours a day. Corrects me 24 hours a day. But maybe sometimes, Air Lady, you get... Like, stop correcting me. Sometimes maybe you get like, ah, right? Like, ah, stop correcting me. Like, it's hard to, because I'm here in Japan, right? I have, this is not an English-speaking country, right? So everyone in Japan speaks Japanese. So I understand your situation. I'm in the same situation living in Japan. I have a wife, a Japanese wife. But she, I wish my wife would correct me more. She doesn't. She just lets me have a bad accent. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's check it out. I am having a cookout next Sunday. I hope you can come. I am having a cookout next Sunday. I hope you can come. Yes, I hope you can come. Very good. Woo, everyone. Today was Tough day today, tough day today. Um, I want to thank, thank you, Green Team, for your wonderful sentences. It was a challenge today. Yes, it was. Um, thanks, everyone, for, for being here and accepting the challenge. Thank you for accepting the challenge. Accepting the challenge means, okay, they're long sentences. It's hard but I accept the challenge. I will do my best, yeah? So don't give up. Um, the only way to get better is to keep trying, never give up. If you give up, then it's over, right? So it's never over. So just challenge yourself, don't give up, and step by step, you will improve for sure. And um, 
so today was the green team's dictation card. So thank you, green team. And I want to give a special thank you to Lolly. A special kiss to Lolly. Mwah. Special kiss to Ava. Mwah. Special kiss to Seiru. Mwah. Special kiss to Mrs. G Classroom. Mwah. Thank you so much for your kind, kind support. And um, thank you, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will do a grammar wheel. I made it yesterday, so I'm going to show you the grammar wheel real quick. We're going to do this tomorrow. Here we go. These are B verbs. So we will practice the grammar wheel tomorrow at this time, 10 a.m. on Saturday, October 12th. So if you want to practice the grammar wheel, please come back tomorrow and we will do sentences. You will, you will make your own sentence. Yes, yes, this is fun. So, okay, so I hope to see you guys tomorrow. I want to thank everyone for, um, <laughs> I understand Air Lady. I know, I know exactly. Good Air Lady. Air Lady says she will never give up. That's great. You know, that, that's the right attitude to have. That's the only way to get better. That's the only way. You will never get better if you give up. Then it's over, right? If you give up, it's over. So don't give up. And, um, I will be back here tomorrow. Thank you again. And um, if you want to join the green team, that would be great. You could get your name in green. If you join the channel, your name will be green. You will um, be part of our team. And um, there are special content. So we do special things only for the green team, like, for example, dictation cards and things like that. So um, check it out. You hit the Join button. And there'll be a pop-down menu that explains the different levels and the um, different things we do. Okay? So thank you so much. Okay, Dr. Maris is going to be back tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lolly, thank you. Mrs. Lucy, I couldn't make it. Yeah, what happened? Okay, Mrs. Lucy, please come back tomorrow, 10 a.m. tomorrow. Ray Ray, thank you. Radu, thank you so much. Yeah, Radu. So we, we could talk more about it. It's in the dictionary. So that's a whole thing. When to use a dash and when not to use. Or not dash, but hyphen, hyphen. So when do you hyphenate it and when you don't hyphenate it. So there, there's actually like three steps to hype. Like, and how a word becomes, a lot of times like words become one. Where like first it's two words then it's hyphenated, then it becomes one word. So over time and how often it's used, so at first maybe it's two words, and then it becomes hyphenated, and then it becomes one word. So it's kind of a process. There's different rules for hyphenating, and um, it depends on the situation. But anyways, uh, we, we can talk more about that. Okay, thank you, Lolly. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you so much. Um, Raphael says cookouts are better if made in a wood pizza oven, especially pizza made with corn. No corn, please, Raphael. I want pizza, but not corn, thank you. No corn on my pizza, thank you. Please, no corn on my pizza. I know, right, dude? So a lot of times, like, we just have to use the dictionary, right? We have to use, I, right? Like, so, like some words are one, you know, like, um, compound nouns, you know, so sometimes it, it's like one word, sometimes it's two words, sometimes it's hyphenated. It's, it's really confusing, and the best way is to use the dictionary. That's the best way. Use the dictionary. All right. Radu, thank you. Ava, thank you. Lolly, thank you. Raphael, thank you. Everyone, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Green team, you're number one. Thank you so much. All right. Well, Ava, you're very, very welcome. Ava, thank you always for your kind support. Yes, I really appreciate it. Vilmar, the fish teacher took their fish to school. <laughs> we're all just fish. We're all just fish swimming in the sea. <laughs> we are just all a school of fish swimming in the sea. Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. Um, Rosie, how is the weather in Japan today? Well, 
Today it is cloudy today and a little windy. I see, I can see outside and the, there's, um, I can see the leaves blowing. So it looks a little windy today. It's cloudy today and it's getting warmer and warmer. So it's getting, I have the, the air on. I need air conditioning because if I didn't have it on, it would be too hot in here. So we're starting to get into summer now. Summer is approaching. It's already, you know, June. So the days are getting hotter and hotter here in Japan. But yeah, it's not raining. So if it doesn't rain, it's a good day for me. I don't like it when it rains. So if it doesn't rain, it's a good day. Okay, yes, let's all um, take care everyone. Let's um, be like monks. Let's be like monks. And what do monks do? Monks cook, clean, and pray for world peace. All right, so let's, let's be like monks. Let's cook, let's clean, and let's pray for world peace. Okay, <laughs> great, great. Well, um, Chocolate on pizza, especially for Radu. Okay, Radu, you get chocolate pizza. That's your prize. Radu's prize is dessert pizza. He gets chocolate pizza. That's his prize. Candy on pizza for Helga. <laughs> you guys are being crazy. Don't be crazy. Okay, I will be back tomorrow with this tomorrow, okay? So... If you want to join me, I will see you tomorrow. I like candy too, but not on pizza. I like candy, but not on pizza. Okay, let's say goodbye together. Thanks, everyone. Let's count down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Thanks so much. Love you guys. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye. See ya.